Hello, everybody. We're trying again. Uh, I had to change the title to Graham Answers Your Questions for Obvious Reasons. It is uh, just before 7 o'clock Pacific time on Thursday, March 12th. I'm going to have to leave here in probably less than an hour because uh, I have a business meeting I got to go to. Uh, but I wanted to just stream a little bit today to talk about um, what's going on. Um, hello, everybody. Um, as soon as we get everybody here, uh, I will start to discuss what happened to Ron Placone and myself. Uh, in, yeah, here we go. Everybody good. Yes, I had to change the title. Um, yes, hello. So let's talk about this. Hit the like button, everybody. Hit the like button. Like and subscribe, share this video. Like I said, I'm gonna have to leave in a little less than an hour, but I wanted to talk to everybody first. Um, I just wanted to say what happened with Ron and I. Um, hello from Toronto. Yeah, exactly. I can't talk about... Um, yeah, if I talk about the COVD, blah, 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 then they're going to, they're literally, I put that in the title and they buffered my stream and I started talking about their buffer my stream. So uh, hit the like button, everybody, share this. So here's exactly what happened. Ron Placone and I were all set to fly last night. We had a, um, we had a red eye booked. I literally was live streaming at Jimmy's yesterday afternoon and I was on the show saying, hey, come out, come out. And um, I had talked to the promoter from the Miami venue earlier that day, and he said everything's good. The ticket sales were really a lot lower, which was a little, per little, little surprising because we were there almost a year, uh, 14 months ago, and we sold out Orlando and we sold out Miami, and the ticket sales were really low in Miami, and they were okay in Orlando, and they were, they were okay in Tampa. And the promoter said, you know, Miami is kind of a walk-up town that happens a lot. There's some, there's some markets that are like that. So I got home around seven o'clock and I was watching, I was eating a little bit and I was just finishing packing and I literally was watching spring training baseball and it flashed across the stream that the NBA canceled the remainder of their season because there was a, a player they found with uh, COVID-19. Um, so um, I was like, whoa, and I, it was about eight o'clock and I called Ron and literally we had an 11 o'clock flight. So I was gonna leave my house in about 45 minutes to, to an hour, 8.45, 9 o'clock to leave my house to go to the airport. And, um, and we were like back and forth, what do we do? I'm not sure. And we were, I was like, maybe we should go and that's no problem, but what if we do go and this happens? And I said, let's make some phone calls. So I went to the, the uh, Florida CDC website and I didn't see any real concrete evidence. I talked to Kevin Rocca, the filmmaker that did Revolution Televised, because he was in Guangzhou, China, which was the second worst hit place with the coronavirus. And he said, Graham, I'm not worried about getting sick and dying. You know, you're healthy. Um, and Ron spoke to a physician friend of his who said the same thing. You guys are healthy. You guys getting sick and dying is not the issue. What Kevin said, he goes, I'm worried about this government and the overreacting or underreacting. And he goes, I'm watching everybody bicker about what's happening. And <laughs> not dealing with it. He goes, I was in China, and this is the thing about a, you know, a, an authoritarian government. China just said, locked it down, quarantine, free testing hospitals, building new hospitals. People weren't supposed to go to work. They helped them with money. They suspended them paying rent and all this stuff. So everybody was just like taken care of. In America, um, Mitch McConnell just said he's going to suspend. They're, they're, they're going to, they, they can't, they're, they're bickering the dumb Republicans uh, on a on a package to a stimulus an emergency stimulus plan because if people are getting quarantined and say they can't fly like I just lost a bunch of money this weekend so did Ron the club the comedy clubs lost money 
everybody lost money. So, and if you're telling me I can't fly or I can't travel, I'm going to lose money or you can't go to work or whatever. You're going to, you're going to, so what Kevin said, he goes, and, and this is what's happening. Mitch McConnell said, well, Mitch McConnell, the Republicans, the dumb fuck Republicans are seeing they don't want anywhere in this stimulus plan money that could go for abortion. So they're going to hang on to abortion, their stupid pro-life thing, and prevent a stimulus plan that the country needs. Trump idiotically shut down entrance from the EU without consulting leaders from the EU. He just did that and caused this mayhem. This is why if you were a good leader, Trump is a fucking moron. He is so stupid. He's such a coked up idiot. Here's what you do when you're the leader of the United States of America. You call the EU and go, look, we have to ban incoming travel to the United States. I wanted to make you aware of it so you can prepare for it. Because there's a whole domino effect when you do shit like that. Even just closing schools is, is like, we're seeing the, the, the school closures. It affects a lot of things. Um, I was watching the mayor of Boston say, well, actually right now we're keeping kids in school because in some ways closing schools can cause more pro I've seen school districts kind of wrestle with this. You close a school, now where are all the kids gonna go? What happens to the kids that were getting fed at the schools, the low income kids? What happens to the people working? What, what do you do? Where, how are people gonna pay? The, there's, a, there's just a whole myriad of things um, that happen. So you have to talk to people. Trump just does it. And then this idiot, Trump, moron that he is, says he'll, he'll let Americans back in, but not Europeans, even Americans with the virus. So this virus doesn't give a shit if you got a MAGA hat on or a Green New Deal shirt. It does, it, this, the virus doesn't care, you stupid moron. So it, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. So that was Ron and I's fears. I go, I'm not worried about getting sick. I'll, I'll, if, if I were to get sick, I'll be okay. I'm healthy, it only affects people with immune disorders, and like the elderly. Like the people that died in Massachusetts were all like in their 80s. It's sad, it's tragic, but when you're in your 80s or 90s, you know, if that doesn't, if, the, if that corona didn't, then the regular flu would, you know, just any old thing at that, at that age. We're, none of us are gonna live forever. But my fear, and Ron and I's fear, was that we would get stuck down there. And then Ron read, when I was on the phone, that, um, that the, uh, the Miami school board put a moratorium on people working for the school board traveling outside of the state of Florida. And that's when Ron and I said, we're not going because we could fly down there and we're like, what happens in the next 48 hours? Cause we're not, we weren't supposed to do Miami till Saturday. So we um, were like, we don't want to get stuck down there. Because if I'm stuck and if I'm quarantined at home, I'm okay. I can do this, I can make money, but if I'm stuck down there and I gotta pay for hotels or whatever, then I, then I, then I, I can't, um, then I can't, you know, I can't function and I'm gonna rack up all this debt, which I can't, I cannot do. Um, so uh, Disney's closed and then, so that's, when, that's why we made the decision not to go to Florida. And it was heartbreaking because we wanted to go down there. At first I was like, man, let's, fuck, I don't, like I've traveled, I'm not one of these hysteria people. When, so, I've been to war zones. You know, I, 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 went, I went to Singapore and Indonesia in the middle of the SARS thing, six months after Indonesia had had a terrorist attack. I, I didn't, I was fine. They tested your temperature when you went in, in, in all the hotels and restaurants in Singapore and Bali. It was fine. You know, I've been into war zones. I don't rattle easy. People are like, oh, you know, like I went, you're scared about going to Bali after a terrorist attack. I go, I've been to New York. I was in New York City four months after 9-11. I'm not, you know, I, I don't get scared easily. What my fear is, is again, we have a stupid government just the American medical system is so goddamn dumb. South Korea has drive-through testing facilities. 
we don't have it. Doctors and scientists have been talking about this pandemic for two to three decades, and there's no plan in place? Like, I really hope that people understand this is why Bernie's Medicare for All, and I hope Bernie drops the gloves and goes after Biden hard on Sunday. I really, I really do. I, I, I really do, because it's just like, it's ridiculous. So that's why Ron and I did not go to Florida. So hope that answers everybody's questions. And I'm going to have a, another, we're going to talk more about uh, the response to this uh, COVID-19, but that's, that's what's up. Um,